up everybody? My name is Nickerson. As you've seen in the title, this video is about obscure must-play games. This is my buddy Mumbo Raz, fellow hardcore gamer. We both have our own styles, but we meet somewhere between Halo and Gears of War. We get a great appreciation for that. Again, obscure must-play games. I'm going to hand it off to Mumbo Raz and see what he has to say. What's up, Mumbo Raz? How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing, man? Uh, pretty good. You know, same old, same old. Yep. So what uh, what uh, obscure must-play game did you bring for us today? So I got this beautiful game here, Psychonauts. Nice 3D platform on uh, Xbox. Very cool. Psychonauts. You know, it looks the, the cover looks familiar. I, I, I feel like I've seen this in the game stores, but I don't know much about it. What do you got for me? What's this game about? What's this entail? So, it's a 3D platformer. You start out as a kid, you go to a camp, and you try to be a psychonaut. Basically, you learn psychic powers. You go into people's heads, try to help them solve their problems. Very cool. So it's like a mental health type of thing. Like you yep. go in there. Very cool. And the gameplay is a standard. So is it like a beat em up 3D platformer? Level dissension and somewhat like, you know, car cartoony puzzles? Is that what's going on in that? Um, yeah, like this. I'd say it's. You know, kind of similar to your, your average 3D platformer. Okay. There's like gliding, um, punch kick, that all that type of good stuff. There's um, you throw cool. like little fireballs, stuff like that. Very cool. So it's got good gameplay, good story. Oh yeah, beautiful gameplay. Love the story. Um, what really sucked me was the the graphics. It's got like a nice like Tim Burton kind of style to it. Nice, Very cool. Nice, nice name drop. Thank you. <laughs> Tim Burton. You gotta gotta love his style. Yep. So it's very cool. So it's like a 3D platformer, Tim Burton style. Fun gameplay, 3D platformer, dark art style. Sounds sounds like a good game to me. Yeah. So I see on the title here it says nine out of ten. Would you say that it lives up to that nine out of ten, or is that a bunch of BS? Let me just uh, let me change it. Uh, put a ten out of ten because I can't think of anything wrong with this game. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Psychonauts. You're saying ten out of ten? Yeah. You're standing firm at ten out of ten? Yeah. A little you stamp of approval. Bam. You heard it from Mumbo Raz. He's gonna scratch off the nine. He gives this game a ten out of ten. So, knowing this guy, he's got great taste, you're going to have to play Psychonauts. So what, I see that it's on the original Xbox, is it yeah. on anything else? So it's on Xbox, it's on PS2, it's on Steam. Xbox, PS2, and Steam. No excuse anymore, PC gamers, you got it right here on Steam. So, check out Psychonauts, 10 out of 10 from Mumbo Rest, so that's a big statement, you're going to have to check that game out. So, now we're going to move on to my obscure must-play game, which is called... Battle Arena Toshinden. This is a fighter game. I know not everybody plays fighter games, but you have to give this one a shot. This came out on the original PlayStation as a launch title. This came out the first year PlayStation was out. Now tell us about that big case. I noticed you got the big case there. Tell us about that. So the big case, back in the day, the first, I think, I could. It, it's somewhere around the first year the PlayStation was out. They didn't use the jewel cases. Most PlayStation original games you'll see on the jewel, the CD jewel cases. When they first came out, they were doing these big, thick boys for the PlayStation 1 games. And I am lucky enough to get, you know, one of my favorite games, Ballerina and Toshinden, in the big box case. This one, any, any game you have on PlayStation 1, if it came in the big box, the big box you're going to be paying big box for. Because you can't find these that, that easy anymore. On eBay, you can find them, but they're not, they're not easy to come by. So I got lucky enough, there was a, uh, a local gaming and movie rental store, which they don't have anymore, right? The, the kids yep. don't know about that anymore. Shout out to you for that. Yeah, we used to, we, before everything was affordable and out there and easy, easily accessible, we had to rent and, uh, so sorry, we had to rent video games and rent movies. So that, that was a good time, but once, once, Netflix and Gamefly started to take over. These businesses, as you know, Blockbuster... Yep, that was the end of Blockbuster. They tanked. But there were some mom and pop stores that really had some cool content in there. And I ended up getting the big box for quite a deal. This was a place called Video Village. Literally, it was about a half a mile from the house I grew up in. And uh, I, I remember, I went in there. When I heard they were going out of business, I was like... <laughs> like, I, I don't want to get excited because I feel bad. I, lo I love small yep. business, but you know what? They started, they were like, all things must go. All all sales final, all things must go. So I was like, all right, I'm going to come in there. Like, with let me get a shopping cart. I'll, I'll take all of it for you. Right, right. Go in there with a backpack <laughs> and be like, all right, I'm, I'm ready well, to go. And I found a couple games. One of them was this one, Battle of Toshinden. Again, classic fighter, I'm telling you. You grab this game. You could grab this game probably, if you look hard enough, you could find this game for 50 cents on eBay. But 
Either way, even if you can't find it that cheap, it's going to be under $5, and it's going to be the best game, especially the best fighter game, let alone the best game out that you can play for under $5. This game is absolutely mint. So tell us, do you think this game still holds up good today, given the graphics? Uh, I'm going to have to say, a hell yeah. Nice. Like, if you play this game versus the Tekken or Street Fighter or something that came out even just a few years ago, this game will hold up, I promise you. If you play fighters, every fighter has their own alias, identity, costume, feel, and most importantly, weapon. One of the guys I played as, he had just a big stone club. Big jacked blonde dude, Viking style. He had a big <laughs> stone club. They'd just smack you with it in the game. And then there was the, the medieval guy. He had the claymore, like, you know, like... Ten foot sword swinging it around. Mondo, yep. the Japanese samurai ninja with the ponytail. He had a spear with the feather on it. Everybody has their own unique play style, which I like. If I had to compare it, I guess it would be like like a mix between Tekken and Soul Calibur. And I have to say, it plays just as good as the others. And the, go ahead. So I was gonna say, tell us, what would you give this out of ten? I'm going to have to do 10 out of 10, too. Nice. 10 out of 10. This you're just going to have to check out both, then. You're going to have to check out both of these <laughs> games. You can't you can't go wrong with either of these games. Um, this one was successful in its own way. I wouldn't say, like, you know, if you talk to a lot of people, have you played Ballerina until Shinden? The answer is probably no. But if the answer is yes, if you say, have you played Ballerina until Shinden? They're going to be like, Oh, hell yeah, I played that game. That game was awesome. They had Ballerina Toshinden, the original. They had Ballerina Toshinden 2 and 3. And all of them are awesome. My personal favorite is the original. I'm just one of those guys that feel like even if they're sequels, unless it's Terminator 2, yep. right? Because Terminator <laughs> 2 is the best Terminator. Most of the time, I believe that the original is the best way to go. That's just, that, just my yep. opinion. I'm with you on that one. But in Japan, they even went to Ballerina Toshinden 4. And just you wait, I will own that game eventually. <laughs> I don't no, just I... yet, but that is definitely going to add to my collection because I have Ballerina 1, 2, and 3. We'll go into others. Later on, we'll go into 2 and 3. And once we do, we're going to do some fighter videos, all sorts of videos. But I'm going to show you all of them and all the gameplay for all of them. And it's going to be a good time. So I highly recommend that you play Ballerina Toshinden and, and Psych definitely and Psychonauts. Psychonauts. I just want to say thanks for coming on the show, Mumbo Welcome, Rats. man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, anytime. It was a good time. Again, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for these games. So hop on it. No excuse. They're cheap games, easy to come by. No more excuses. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or if you've played these two games and you agree or disagree, throw it in the comments. Let us know. And if you've played both of them, if you're that rare person who's played both of them, Leave it in the comments, seeing which one you think is better, and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks Mr. Mumbo Rats for joining us, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks again.